are live, live from the Florida Panhandle Pioneer Settlement down here in Cloudstown. <laughs> it's good to see everybody. Thanks for coming by. I see there's a bunch of people over here having a good time chatting it up. And I think some of you are making fun of me, and that, that's, that's slightly hurtful. <laughs> Welcome back. If this is your first time here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and do all those fancy things. I'd appreciate it. Today was our first school field trip. We had 80 kids show up, two bus loads of youngins. We split them all up into groups and they all went off to different cabins. And in the cabins, in the houses, in the old uh, pioneer homes, they had people doing different things. We had a, a young lady cooking biscuits in one and we had a Another lady in one of the cabins washing on an old washboard. Showed the children how to do that. Uh, we had some over at the schoolhouse to show them how school was, not how it is now. Anyway, so it was a hoot. I think I'm going to throw a video together. I got to be careful with all them youngins running around because you don't get any strikes putting children in your videos. But uh, we had a really good time. I think the kids had a really good time. Oh, oh, and they had a bunch of cowboys here, and they had a little cowboy and uh, Indian fight. They shot it out over at uh, the, the jailhouse, but uh, it was really fun. I enjoyed it. Uh, I just sort of wandered around and, you know, worked like I normally do in that right camper life. <laughs> All right, uh, 17 unusual uh, uh, uses for dryer sheets. For your RV. We're going to talk about that a little bit later in the show. I got a few things to talk about before that. Today, we we finished that whole concrete pad over at this new building. We got it all done. We had some two by fours we had to unload from a trailer onto the, the pad to build the walls. And uh, I was helping, you know, we were moving the two by fours and somehow uh, I sneezed and I pulled my back. And <laughs> It hurts pretty bad, but uh, I figured, you know, I, I, I can't use that as an excuse. I got to get on with the show, so <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> Tonight, like I said, we're going to talk about dryer sheets. Why not? <laughs> uh, chew some fat. Say hi to everybody. Everybody in the chat, have a good time. Uh, you guys chatted up real good, and, and if you want to leave me a, a Steve Turtle message, just type at and Steve Turtle, and I'll see it. It'll flash up there in orange, and I'll... I'll probably see it. Uh, sometimes I start talking too much and I don't see it. My wife says I'm always talking. <laughs> All right. If you got a birthday today, put it in the chat. I'd like to recognize your birthday. I, I do appreciate that. Or if it's this month, it's okay. Just let us know that you're having a birthday. That's a very special occasion, an anniversary of such about how old you are. Why does somebody have to remind you how old you are? I don't think we should have a date like that. <laughs> All right. I'm goofing off enough. That's it. I'm going to go over here. We're going we're gonna to talk about who's in the chat. I, Mellow Nomadic Adventures popped in here. I think it was like four days ago and says hello. And it's good to see him. That is Marshall. And uh, he's a really great guy. And, you know, if you haven't been over here to check him out, you should do so. Uh, camping Therapy, Doreen, she's here as well. She's going to do a little moderating for me. I appreciate that, Doreen. You're awesome. Uh, I think she just got finished with one of them uh, vintage camping shows. She goes down there and she does like 500 videos of vintage campers. So if you're interested in vintage campers, you got to get over there and check her out and see what's going on. She does really good, too. Uh, let's see. Who, who else is in RV on the wayside? Well, let me tell you, he's going to be here a little bit later, and I think I think he's going to poke some jabs at me a little bit. I don't know. It might be a little roast. I don't know. He always keeps me guessing, but I did invite him over. That'll be a little bit later on, too. Thrifty Angela, how are you? It's good to see you, young lady. It's always good to see her. She's uh, awesome. She does crafts. I don't know if you've been over to the channel to check her out, but you should. And if you haven't, you're doing yourself a disgrace. B Bear, hello. She is here with Pippi, and I'm pretty sure she's got a couple of them grandchildren with her, too. Uh-oh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, my goodness. Hold on. 
I think I think the problem is <laughs> William is in the house. Camper life. Hold on. Is he here? Oh my goodness. Hello everyone except RV on the wayside. Now that's just a rude thing to say. Why would you do that, Mr. William at Camper Life? <laughs> it's good to see you here. Thanks for stopping by. <laughs> New Horizon, she says, dang, I just bought <laughs> those same purple glasses tonight at the Dollar Tree. You know, I've been trying to get some red glasses at the Dollar Tree, Susan, but they, they've got Dollar Generals here. They're everywhere, and I can't find a Dollar Tree. So, <laughs> yes, we're wearing the same glasses. Desert Adventures in uh, Arizona. How you doing, Steve? It's good to see you. Thanks for coming by. I do appreciate it. He, he says he loves those vintage campers. I love the idea of vintage campers. Uh, I was watching uh, a guy. He's at Campaholics. He was at uh, uh, one of the RV shows. It wasn't Hershey, but he was at one of the RV uh, rallies. And uh, he went to a uh, old museum. And, man, some of them old campers with the wood. And everything they're just awesome and it probably weighed a ton but they're really awesome nice looking campers all right what i miss camping therapy says uh my my next video is a motorcycle camper no they don't make motorcycle campers <laughs> all right doreen we're looking forward to your next video of a motorcycle camper <laughs> Uh, New Horizon, she says, I use dryer sheets for deodorant and perfume. Gus loves the Snuggle brand. Well, we don't need Gus, but I do. Uh-oh, a little, little green over here. I do have the Snuggle brand, so I found it to be very nice. And I tried all these remedies, and I think most of them work. <laughs> you guys are nuts just for putting up with me. Anyway. A farmer drove to a neighbor's farmhouse and knocked, on, and knocked at his door. A boy about nine opened up the door. The man said, is your dad or mom home? No, they went to town. How about your brother, Howard? Is he here? No, he went with mom and dad. The farmer stood there for a few minutes, shifting from one foot to the other, mumbling to himself when the young boy says, I know where all the tools are if you want to borrow one or I can give dad a message. Well, said the farmer uncomfortably, no, I really want to talk to your dad about your brother Howard and getting my daughter Sally pregnant. The boy thought for a moment, then said, you'll have to talk to my dad about that. I know he charges $50 for the bulls, $15 for the pigs, but I have no idea how much he charges for Howard. I'm sort of on a, a farmstead theme here. Hold on. <laughs> a traveling salesman is driving down a country road one day, and he sees a farmhouse with a pigsty off the front porch. You know what a pigsty is. Pig pen, right? <laughs> Finding this to be a little odd, he slows down and takes a closer look, and he sees a single, well-cared-for pig in the sty. Otter still, at close inspection, the pig has a wooden leg. Consumed with curiosity, he heads up the driveway to a farmer's home, hops out of his car, knocks on the door. When the farmer opens the door, the salesman hurriedly says, Good afternoon, sir. I'm terribly sorry to bother you, but I was just driving by and I couldn't help notice. Notice what? As soon as I get the page flipped over, I'll tell you. The farmer smiles and holds up his hands. Let me guess. You want to know about the pig with the wooden leg, right? Yes, says the salesman. The farmer then begins to explain. One night while my family was sleeping, we had an electrical short and an old lamp that ended up setting the entire living room on fire. The pig out there saw the smoke billowing from the window and ended up bursting out the pen, knocking down the door rousing my wife and I awake and we were able to get to the children and wake them too. So we all, the pigs saved every last one of us. 
astounded. The salesman nodded, seeming to understand. So the pig was injured, performing all those amazing heroics. No, said the farmer. But the pig, <laughs> but a pig that good, you just can't eat all at once. Don't hate me. I'm just reading the story. <laughs> Oh, they probably started on the next leg Saturday night. <laughs> He's got two peg legs. <laughs> All right, let me see who's over here. Stream Elements is in the house. I don't know how they got here. I did not invite them. <laughs> B Bear says, Steve Turtle, I'm glad that you're back to your normal color. Oh, like my, yeah, I'm not sunburned. That's what she means. I'm not sunburned. <laughs> Oh, shoot. Oh, my goodness. You guys are crazy. Uh, Susan, Susan from New Horizons says she used uh, dryer sheets for deodorant and perfume. Oh, I already read that. That's old news. <laughs> Camper Life says we want Jill. You know, I was going to have Jill come up and she was going to do a thing. But you know what she told me? You don't want to know because it's not permitted on YouTube. I think there's some category that you check off. It says no. <laughs> I love her and I'd love for her to be right here every night that I have a live stream. But I tell you what, she ain't doing it. <laughs> I got her working right now. She's busy. <laughs> Thanks for that comment, Mr. Camper Life. Camper Life, I don't know where he's at. He's been up there at Hershey doing videos for the last month and it hadn't even been open. Rayleigh, Creative Travel, thank you. I appreciate you stopping by. Sure is a pleasure. <laughs> All right, I'm going to get a little channel news out of the way. Don't don't leave me. I know you guys run over there and you're probably watching Art RVing or something else. Uh, I'd like to welcome and recognize all the members that are here in uh, the live stream. And I'm going to play a video, so hold on. <laughs> And from, for some crazy reason, all of a sudden, I realized that Susan likes flamingos, the pink ones. I don't know why. I'd like to thank all the members. Our next members live stream, which I neglected to be on schedule, but our next one is going to be Wednesday 10-6 at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And the graphics of the month will be 1013, and I'll put that on the community page. And if you'd like to have it, let me know, and I'll email it to you, something special for you. Uh, the, the live stream, I really appreciate it if you could show up. I want to talk about some things, and I need, to, I need a little bit of your help. I need a little help. So live streams for the month. Of course, tonight is our Work Campers live stream. I'm going to talk a little bit about some Work Campers stuff. And uh, I do that normally every first Friday of the month. Tuesday is our bid lift and bid lift is every week. And now we have a bid lift channel and uh, McGuire's on tires. Scott will host the next one over on the bid lift channel. That'll be 10 five at, and it's nine Eastern. And then I will not have a live stream that Friday. I apologize. <laughs> the third Friday is game night and it'll give away. We're going to give away some Amazon e gift card. The last one we had was a scavenger hunt and uh, some friends here from the Pioneer Settlement won. And then they decided they were going to give it away. And they're going to give it away to B-Bear and Harley because they were in second place. And they'd like to do that because they thought that Harley really worked hard trying to round up all the scavenger parts, pieces, stuff. And uh, I think she did a good job. We had, had a small group, but it was really a hoot. I think the next one's going to be uh, Pictionary. 
We're going to do that one coming uh, the third Friday. <laughs> Fourth Friday is a free for all. We talk about anything. You pop up and chat. You can share. Tell a joke. Tell about your channel. That'll be 1022. And possibly, since this month just can't run out of Fridays, 1029. Not this month. Yeah, this month. It is October. Sneaks up, sneaks up on you. All right, did lift real quick. Uh, we watch a one-minute clip submitted by people over here in the chat or anybody that wants us to look at a clip. And uh, we'll review a one-minute segment. You identify which one-minute segment you'd like us to look at. We'll make some comments about things you might want to do different, things that, you know, we would do different. Uh, we're not experts. We don't know it all, but we like to share. It's a good uh, opportunity for people in the chat to share some of the things they've tried and things like that. But it's all about lifting each other up and getting a little bit better at creating uh, videos. So if you're not busy, stop over. Like I said, Scott's going to do the next one, and that'll be 10-5. Uh, let's see. Hold on. I want to see who's here in the chat. Are we on the waysides here in the chat? Camper Life says, Steve Turtle, you for sure need some help. Admitting is the first step. You know, that's true. Uh, I do have a problem. Uh, I've been drinking a little bit too much, and uh, I'm trying to quit. Uh, but around, around noon, my hands start to shake, and... Uh, I start to go on for the moonshine. Uh, nah, not really. I'm all right. <laughs> Camper life's full of it. <laughs> oh, what the heck? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, let me see. What else I got to talk about? Camper life. Steve Turtle, I thought it uh, only took one foot. <laughs> nah, I ain't talking to you anymore, Camper Life. <laughs> oh. All right, I love you guys. I, I, I really have a good time with these live streams. I really do. And uh, I appreciate everybody for stopping by. I don't know. What time is it? I'm just rattling on. I don't even know what time it is. Listen, uh, <laughs> I walked in on a man using a solid gold toilet. I asked him, how many carrots is that, sir? He said, none, but it's a lot of corn. <laughs> don't hate me. Don't have this live stream is not sponsored by Demore Amaretto. They did not give me any money. They didn't sponsor me. They didn't give me anything. If you feel bad about that and you want to help out, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. I'd sure appreciate it. It makes the video go crazy. Might even go viral. There's a chance. That, was that Carl? No, no, that was Clem. That was not me. <laughs> you know, dreaming out loud's here in the house, and I haven't said hello. How you doing, Paul? It's good to see you. I hope you brought Megan with you. And uh, let's see. Camper life is a genius. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's funny. <laughs> let's see. Don't be a quitter, buddy. Just drink more. <laughs> Uh, Cavern Life's a hoot. I, I, like I said, I love you guys. You're, you're all, you're just humoring me. That's all there is. <laughs> all right. Uh, I ran across this article. I thought it was pretty cool. I thought I'd share it. It's uh, try these unusual ways using dryer sheets in an RV. And I thought, yeah, for washing your clothes. No, no. Drying your clothes. No. Other things. Dust your RV window blinds. Well, Jill and I, we took out our blinds, so we don't have that problem. We got rid of them. She hung up curtains like a normal house, and then we have blackout shades, you know, so we can sleep like vampires inside our camper. <laughs> oh, shoot. B Bear says, Steve Turtle, this is Harley. Yay. Please tell me thank you for that generosity. It was so much fun. Now we have, uh, we want to play Family Feud, please. Okay, we'll try to get the Family Feud together. I need six people, three on each team. And uh, I'd really love to do that. I think it would be fun. So I'll send an email to B-Bear and we'll try to 
figure it out. We'll work something out. And I think Donovan had a team. Uh, Camper Life, he had a team, but it fell apart. I think it was all because, you know, Camper Life, he's, you know, he, he, you know how he is. <laughs> yes, Harley, we're going to try to work that out. And like I said, Harley, I'm going to be sending a Amazon e-gift card to B-Bear, but it is for Harley because she did such a great job. And I appreciate that. The Northwoods RV Life. Hello, how are you doing, buddy? It's good to see you. All right, let me get back to my business here. Dust your RV windows blinds. Well, we don't have those, and I haven't tried it. So I did think, you know, that's possible. Uh, remove watermarks on your sink. It says dryer sheets will help your fixtures sparkle. Well, mine, they're plastic, so they don't sparkle. They're not stainless. They're just old, cheap plastic ones. So I didn't try that one. But it does say... Uh, a TV and computer screen, you can rub those on there and it will keep the dust off of them. So I tried it and it works. Some of these I had not tried. Grab a dryer sheet and give them a once over and no more dust. That's what it says. And I don't know. I thought it worked pretty good. Stored fabric fresh. Put a new dryer sheet inside your storage bins filled with off-season clothing and scented scent. Well, keep their stored fabric fresh, smelling until the, you use them again. I thought that was a pretty good idea. Now, some people have sensitive nose, noses, and uh, they don't like all that smell. They don't like, uh, you know, that, that that's too much. It's like uh, walking into that candle store. You're like, ah, oh, I can't get in there. But anyway, uh, I thought it was a good idea. And I like them. They smell pretty good. Uh, well, I lost my place. Oh, my goodness. Got bugs on your RV windshield or front bumper. Now, I didn't go out and try this one. I, I do want to try it. I think it would be pretty cool. It says dryer sheets are the perfect thing for cleaning off those spots. The material will not scratch your RV finish. So I'm going to go out there. I'm going to see if that works. Pet hair. Now, look at here. You can take a dryer sheet and you can take your pet and you can wipe all the pet hair off of them. It's almost like, and then you can wipe your couch, you can wipe your, your, your sofa, and that'll, that'll get that, that right there, it'll get it all off. It's, 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 it'll work. I tried it on chicken, got almost three of the feathers off there. <laughs> B-Bear wants to know if I'm using a dryer sheet for a pocket square. Yes, I am, but I have another reason, and I'll get to that in just a minute. Use a dryer sheet to remove dust from your ceiling fan. I don't have a ceiling fan. I think only RVs, those big old RVs, what do they call them? Fifth wheels. I think those are the only ones with uh, ceiling fans, and I don't necessarily need a ceiling fan. Camper Life says, was that an armpit? No, that wasn't an armpit sniff. You're so silly, you're crazy. You and, you and Paul are ganging up on me now. Let's see. Put a little water on a sheet and clean your window good. Yes, exactly. I was getting to that, Paul. That was, very good. that was a very good point. <clears throat> Use a dryer sheet to remove ah, that's ceiling fans. Soap scum on your RV shower door. Now, I just went in there. Normally, I'll use some, uh, uh, I forget what the stuff's. Oh, CLR. I use CLR on my shower uh, to get that you know, that water scum off of it. But I tell you what, I walked in there earlier and uh, with a with a dryer sheet and a wet paper towel, that cleans them up pretty good. And uh, I, I might start using that. I think it'd be less harsh on my uh, gray water tank. Uh, so yes, Paul, very good, very good idea. Dryer sheets for shower doors. Uh, put a dryer sheet inside your bedroom drawers. Now, when I read that, I thought it said put a dryer sheet in your drawers. And I was like, yeah, it'd be perfect for camper life. That would help out a lot. <laughs> but it's talking about your drawers, you know, where you put your drawers. And <laughs> it says it keep you keep your clothing smelling fresh. Uh, all right. No one wants to deal with greasy, stuck-on, grimy cooking pots. Now, I didn't try this when I washed dishes the other night. But I tell you, it says to take... Fill the pot with water, add a dryer sheet, and let it sit overnight. The pots will easily come clean in the morning. I'm going to give it a shot. I'm game. I'll go for it. 
I use dryer, the camper life says, I use dryer sheets for toilet paper. It leaves you smelling fresh. <laughs> That's almost like a debate or, or a, what do they call it? A, a bidet. A bidet. What is this? Portable ceiling fan, mini USB tent fans for camping outdoors, hanging gazebo. Oh, okay. Yeah, that'll work. <laughs> oh, how you doing, Crazy Shepherd? It's good to see you. Thanks for coming by. He says, dryer sheet to repel rodents. Exactly. Hold on a minute. You can use a dryer sheet to shine your shoe, or you can stuff it inside your stinky boot. Now, this afternoon, I went out to feed the chickens, and I'll tell you what. Those chickens, they're just terrible. They got me. That's chicken squat. And uh, I put this dryer sheet in there, and I don't even smell it anymore. So you can stuff a dryer sheet in your boot or your shoe or whatever stinks, and and uh, that'll make it smell better. Uh, let's see. What's over here? Uh, they have rechargeable battery-powered ceiling fans in the RVs now. Oh, fancy that. You know, I do find that pretty awesome. I know... Uh, Camper Life, he went in a couple campers up there at the Hershey RV show. Uh, I really find it interesting to see the new RVs. Now, I'm not going to buy a new RV. I can't afford one. But I do enjoy watching all the new uh, features that these RVs have. And they've come up with some pretty decent features. Some of them I think they should reconsider. Like, there should not be speakers on the outside of a camper. And they definitely should not be a TV. Get inside and watch TV or go outside and be by the fire. You don't need to be both. Sorry. That was a little rant. <laughs> Camp hosting. Sorry. <laughs> hey, Thrifty Angela, it's good to see you back. Uh, oh, here we go. <laughs> Place two or three new dryer sheets in the bottom of a waste can. That'll help eliminate smells. Good idea. Uh, then when you're finished with your old ones, Roll them up, put them in a toilet roll, one of the cardboard toilet rolls, and use them as a simple fire starter. I thought that was interesting, too. Uh, for yourself, it says, if accidentally you get deodorant smears, which I don't know, that's what I do. I smear it on. But it says if you get a deodorant smear, I guess it's one of them pasty things, uh, gently... <laughs> On your T-shirt or your, your dryer sheet will remove them. I don't know how that works. I haven't had a deodorant smear. Put a new dryer sheet in your pocket for mosquitoes. And also, uh, Crazy Shepherd says you can uh, you can do that with uh, to repel rodents, which I thought was pretty cool. So there should be no mice attacking me tonight. <laughs> A dryer sheet will help fly away hair. I don't know, you know, like if you get a lot of static, you can rub a dryer sheet and rub a dryer sheet up there like this, and it'll take the static because it's, you know, it's a static clean thing. You rub it up there and it'll take all the static out of your hair. That's what it says. I don't know if it's true, but <laughs> that's what it says. Man, my side hurts. Uh, yeah. Dreaming out loud, Paul, he's the only smart one here. No, I'm not going to say that. He's not the only smart one here, but he did say, he agrees with me, that no outside speakers or TVs. It's just campgrounds are too small. Their TV is right there at my slide out or speaker or whatever. It's just not right. Don't get me started. You know how I am about that stuff. <laughs> well, the bear poor rodents, it's, it's just they smell it and they go away. It's not like you you know, capture them on sticky pads. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right, let me see. I'm going to check over here, see who's in the chat. I'm going to have to uh, move on and talk about some work camping stuff, some more work camping stuff. All right, I think I caught up. I think I said hello to everybody. If I miss you, it was not on purpose. I tell you what, I get the... I get to yak in over here, and I forget all about what's going on. New Horizon says, Steve Turtle, Gus called and said that you need to use those dryer sheets for deodorant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
you know, Susan, first off, Gus can't talk. <laughs> you have to call Mark. Mark makes him talk. You know how that works. <laughs> yes, the chickens did poke holes in my shoes. <laughs> I've been wearing them old rusty Crocs for I don't know how long. Anyway, does it work for mice according to Facebook posts? Wait, who said that? Dor uh, Doreen. They work fine. If you if you take one of these and you put it on one of those sticky pads, that mouse will crawl up there to sniff it, and then his little feet get stuck, and he can't move, and then he's just wiggling around on a sticky pad. And then what do you do with them? Nobody tells you. You know, if you read the directions on the sticky pad, nobody says what you do when you catch the rodent. The poor little thing, we did it. Jill freaked out. The little mouse is standing there on this sticky pad, and he can't move. And he's looking up at her like, what am I supposed to do? And I said, well, just set the sticky pad out there in the road. A hawk will come by and get him. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know. I got the giggles and I'm sharing way too much. Let's move on to something else. Something more appropriate. <laughs> So, sorry, I was rubbing this on my hair, and for some reason it's turning blue, but I don't have any static. I don't have any more static. <laughs> no mosquitoes and no rodents. <laughs> All right, let's focus. We're going to talk about work amping jobs. I have five websites, and most of you here already know that, and this is just for anybody that stumbles across the video. I have five websites that I go to for work camping jobs. I think they're great places to find work camping jobs, and there's still plenty of work camping jobs out there. Not quite as many as uh, right now, but or later on, I'm sure there'll be more. But anyway, workcamping.com. That's Work Camper News. They have a hotline. They send out job notices. Last week, they had 70 ads as of today and uh they were they were listed within the last 14 days 70 jobs that were available for somebody to take arizona led oh my goodness i got the hiccups arizona led with 12 jobs workcampingjobs.com had 84 ads as of today all submitted within the last 30 days and 37 of those were full hookup free with pay and I thought that was pretty cool. Now, those numbers are really low, but it's October. So it's the beginning of the season, and most people have already fulfilled whatever requirements they need. However, with all of that fulfilled, there's still jobs out there. Uh, last time we looked, there were 180 jobs posted. This week, we're down just a little bit with about 154. Uh, we're down 26. So I think that's sort of you know, what 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 the uh, season's like is right now most jobs are filled, but they still have a few jobs left open. Uh, and some people are already looking for 2022 spring. Uh, our highest at the peak since I've been gathering this information was 406 jobs off of these two websites. Now, that's not to talk about some of the other websites that I'm going to talk about. My number three is a Facebook group. It's it's uh called Work Campers Facebook group. They have 59,000 subscribers or followers, and they often post work camping jobs there. Uh, it is sometimes people that have worked at work camping jobs, and uh, you know they, they, they want to share that they had a good time there, and they're looking, and that campground might be looking for help. Uh, work Camping in the USA Facebook group is another good one. So there's number four. And then the best one uh, is... Volunteer.gov. Volunteer.gov is a website that if you want to volunteer for hours, uh, they'll put you up in a camping spot and then you do a little work and then they uh, they go ahead and uh, uh, give you a free site to stay. Now, those are good jobs. They are, hold on, 
National Park Service, Bureau of Land Management, U.S. Forest Service, U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, and the U.S. Ge Geological Survey. So all of those agencies come together and it's a portal for volunteer jobs. Now, the one thing that you do have to remember, if you're looking on that website for jobs, make sure that you indicate in the search that you have an RV and you're looking for a site or a pad. I think they list it as looking for a pad. Because if you don't, you'll find jobs that you like and all of a sudden you'll realize that there's no pad available. But uh, there are a number of them. There was 174 opportunities like camp host, trail maintenance, deer surveyor, and visitor center, you know, host or whatever you want to call that. But I did see one yesterday that I thought was pretty impressive. They now have a position at a national park for a bark ambassador. <laughs> B-A-R-K. It stands for bag your pet's waste, always lease your pet, respect the wildlife, and know where you can go. Now, I make fun of it because it sounds funny, but it is a position for a couple with an animal that walks from around the state park, whichever one this was, I can't remember which one it was, uh, They the, and let people know about the dog rules. Pick up behind your pet, make sure your pet's on a leash, control your animal, and so forth and so on. But that's the job, and then you get a campsite for that. Uh, but if you're interested in that, Go ahead to volunteer.gov and then type in in your search for Bark Ambassador. Uh, there was a, a couple other ambassador jobs there. I thought I thought they were a little bit funny, but they had a, uh, a, a gate host ambassador a position. So if you're looking for volunteer type stuff, go ahead over there to uh, volunteer.gov. I find it very useful. All five of those are great websites uh, for finding the jobs. Now, how much time I got? I don't want to run out of juice. Hold on. Uh, all of those links are down below in the description area. So if you're looking for work camping websites, go check that out. And if that's, that doesn't suit you, you can also just type work camping up here in the Googler and uh, they'll, 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 you'll get a lot of returns. Probably Indeed will be the first one, which I don't think that's a legitimate work camping uh, website. But it could be. Gate guard jobs and info. Now, Jill and I, we gate guarded. We did it for about 10 weeks. Uh, we haven't been down in a long time, but I do keep tabs. I try to watch, see what's going on, but I really haven't paid attention a whole lot because uh, we're really not looking for a job. We were vacationing for three months after we left the job, and then we came straight down here. So usually we start looking hard uh, towards the end of whatever you know we're doing. <clears throat> However, uh, there are three Facebooks that I like to find gate guarding jobs. Gate guards. In the oil field is one gate guard group. Uh, they are uh, JNG Security is seeking a licensed RV team to drill uh, for a drill rig in Gillette, Texas. And uh, number two is Gate Guard Info and RV Maintenance Tips. A very good gate guard group. And then Patty Lopez Gate Guard Security Group. I, I, I like Patty because I went down. That's the young lady I work for and I uh, enjoyed the uh, opportunity and she treated us right. But there's several uh, work camping, or excuse me, there's several gate guarding uh, companies down there. They're all about the uh, about. They're all good, and uh, you know, every once in a while you'll find a rotten egg in, in any batch. But I, I would recommend any of them. Call them up, talk to them. They'll give you all the information. If you have questions about gate guarding, go over to Steve Turtle's channel and check out his uh, gate guard uh, playlist. Got a lot of information in there. Uh, it's not a bad thing. But, uh, you know, it's not for everybody. So get on over and check it out or send me an email and I'll try to talk you through it. All right. Now we're going to go over here and I think I'm going to have my buddy Donovan come up. But, uh, of course, I got I to gotta play a video. Hold on. This is not a commercial for Advil. Advil did not sponsor this live stream, nor did they give me any money. If you feel bad about that, hit that subscribe button down below. It really helps. Every evening I take two Advil PMs to help me sleep. Last night, I accidentally took two Viagra before I went to bed. I was up all night.
Welcome, brother. How you doing? Oh, oh, wait. You you don't have blue hair now. H hang on, just one second. Hang on, I got it. <laughs> As you can see, this was not rehearsed. <laughs> okay, that's better. Woo. Oh yeah, yeah, that's good. Oh man, it's hot in those things. What's what's that shirt? What what you got on there? Tell me a little bit about it. Mayberry. Mayberry meetup. October 14th through the 17th. I had to look oh, it up. Okay. I can't remember those dates. <laughs> I heard I heard about that. I think uh Andy and, and Barney's gonna be there. Um, I don't know. Uh somebody named Gus. Oh, yeah. No, he's not coming. <laughs> yeah, no. Now, I think Gus, if he shows up, he's going to be in a box. Hey, I, did you know, did you realize if it wasn't for your glasses and your skin color that you would be completely seamless with your background in full grayscale fashion? Y yeah, yeah, I do know <laughs> that. And, uh, you, know, I, you know, Shady Rest, I love it. I was torn between which ones I was going to use, but uh, <laughs> I can really see good with these glasses. Boy, I tell you, I, I, I normally have a smaller, you know, eye frame. And uh, this has been awesome. I'm I'm really seeing stuff. I would I, I um B Bear almost blew my joke, and I was gonna have to have a new one before it started when you start talking about the color of your hair or whatever. <laughs> hey, I probably missed I probably missed a few uh <laughs> Marge, yeah. Oh, good. Not many people made fun of me. Just you. That's good. All right. Yeah. So, <laughs> are we ready? Yes, sir. Do it up. All right, uh, this is, what's it called? Faster than a turtle? No. Truth be told? Oh, yeah. Are you smarter Truth. than a, no, yeah, are you faster Truth. than a Steve Turtle? Truth be told. <laughs> All right, so true or false? Everybody in the chat, you got to answer, but Steve's going to answer as soon as he can, and we, you guys have to try to beat Steve. That's how it works. All right, just like the rings of a tree, you can tell the age of a narwhal whale by the layers of their unicorn-like tusks. True or false? Just like the rings of a tree, you can tell the age of a narwhal whale by the layers of their unicorn-like tusks. True or false? I think that's true. All right. Steve says true. Bee Bear's in there with true. Harry Leisure says uh-uh. Dreaming, oh, look at them. They, they aren't buying it. Dreaming out loud, yeah. RV and false. Thrifty Angela falls. Marshall said true. I bet you, I bet you, Camper Life, he's so scared of us and Family Feud, he won't answer these. <laughs> now, Bee Bear switched to false. Look at Oh, she switched up. <laughs> she did. No, come on, guys. That's true. All right. You think it's true, huh, Steve? Yes. You and Marshall. Yes. Because Bee Bear switched. <laughs> well, actually, oh, wait. Tran oh, yeah, see, Camper Life, he's too chicken. Yeah. True, oh, he can't. He's, 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 he's like one of them, what is it, Switzerland? Can't make up yeah. his mind. D Doug Force said false. Welcome, Doug. Yeah. How you doing, Doug? It's good to see you, brother. All right. So the narwhal can live up to 50 years, and their tusks can tell you can tell the age by the layers on their tusk so imagine 50 years of that thing coming out of that norwal whale and believe it or not it's so cool that you can also determine uh some other information like the pollution and temperature levels they lived in and what their consistency of their diet was pretty cool well well that's that's terrible would they have to cut it off to see all this no no they can just take a little scrape Oh, okay. All right. A little sad. We don't harm animals on this show, although no. you mention it sometimes. It's all in. It's all in fun. All in fun. I know. Yeah. No animals were hurt in the making of this video. Okay, you did good. You actually beat most of the people in the chat. That's pretty good of you, Steve. That's, yeah. Boy, last time you got them all right. Yeah, so and, that was the we, easy one. Yeah, and we don't practice. We don't. This is not rehearsed. No, no, I won't. I will. Are you kidding me? I won't let him see. All right. After being decapitated, there is a type of sea slug that can regrow its head. True or false? Wait, say that again. 
after being decapitated, there is a type of sea slug that can regrow its head. True or false? Oh, that's got to be false. Yeah? Yeah. All right. What yeah, do you guys think? I don't know, Steve. You you know, last week you got all three right. It, yeah. I'd hate to see you get one wrong already. Well, I mean, lizards, you know, you pop off their tail, they can grow another tail, but I don't think slugs can grow heads. You don't think they can grow heads? I mean, <laughs> aren't they all just one gelatinous mess? That too. They're great with salt, though, right? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> don't start hurting the poor little things. <laughs> all right, so... Everybody else said true, Steve. And the oh. answer is they're not smarter than a Steve Turtle. Son of a gun, you were right. But here's what it actually is. <laughs> there is a type of sea slug that can regrow its entire body after being decapitated. And wow. that includes a new heart. And the head alone by itself, after a few hours, will start eating algae again like nothing happened. That's amazing. Yeah, I should have went the other way. Maybe you would have, you'd have still, yeah, I don't know. You're, yeah, you're yeah. doing good. That's five in a row. Yeah. You are on fire. Now, if you, you put, got everybody that if, time. If you put salt on a slug, can he reconstitute his body? <laughs> I think that's called acid in their, in their world. <laughs> that's very not nice. Okay, this is the best one. You ready? We got through these pretty quick. Airplane food. Yeah, go ahead. What? Never tastes great. But that's because of the amount of preservatives they have to be made with. True or false? Airplane food never tastes that great because of the amount of preservatives they have to put in it to be made to have it made with. True or false? I don't know. I'm I'm thinking that's true. Let's see. Because they, they gotta put that food out there a long time. Yeah, and it's gotta sit. Yeah. yeah. Harry says false. Yep. Well, they all just, you know what I think they're doing? They're just doing the opposite of whatever you say. Just to just. <laughs> <laughs> I know if I was playing, even if I knew the answer, I'd still do it. <laughs> <laughs> all right. We got three false. Anybody yeah. else? Yeah. I can't believe uh, camping therapy didn't jump all over these. She must be cooking. Well, you know. She's probably napping. She's old. All right. I'll tell you what. <laughs> Steve, you ran out of your win streak. Five's your Oh, top. no. Five. Are you serious? Yes. Man. It actually has to do with the dryness of the altitude and low pressure of being up that high up in the air. Yeah. It reduces your sweet and salty taste buds by 30%. That's why they always give you salty snacks, so there's like extra salt, so it'll help you be able to taste it. However, now here's the kicker, Steve. On a positive note, the dry cabin air that you're surrounded by actually affects the sen your sense of smell, and they do that so you don't smell as many farts up there. <laughs> That's a true fact, but not about the farts. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Are you? I've got to Google that. I'm. I'm gonna. No, those are true. Oh yeah. Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> B Bear says she missed a question. <laughs> Just you know that you can't smell farts when you're on an airplane. <laughs> Camper Life. Camper Life says RV on the wayside. Don't know. He makes this up as he goes. <laughs> no, I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure he facts checks. Yeah, what I do is I go find random facts and then I go see if they're true because I don't trust any of those fact check those fact <laughs> things. Oh, oh my goodness! Well, that was a three, boy. You you still got two. You beat almost everybody on every question except they yeah. They're just the trying to make one. me look. They're trying to make me look good. That's all. Oh, you think that's it? Yeah, I do appreciate it. Uh, I, I don't think your fans are. Uh, I don't <laughs> think they work that way. <laughs> I think they like to see you go down with this shit. Uh, I you don't do know have the I best said... jokes on, on, on the YouTubes, I'm just going to say. Yeah, so, hey, did you see if anybody had a birthday? I didn't notice. I didn't see <laughs> any birthdays. Is your hand just dying to push that button? No, no, no. I'm just I'm just looking. I, she, 
I'm just looking through the comments, you know. I want to rep recognize anybody that had a birthday. That's all. Yeah, there should be somebody that had a birthday. I mean, you know, it's a whole month. Mayberry's about to have a birthday next week, and you won't have a show next week. I know. I know. So, yeah, so maybe I can uh, jump in some of the live streams for next week at the... Uh... <laughs> I'm trying to video. give you an excuse to play that video. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> so you looking forward to it, Mayberry? I am actually, yes. Yeah, I, I think there's quite a quite a number of people that are going. I think that's awesome. It's gonna be a hoot. If uh if you see Scott McGuire and I walking around with some cameras, yeah, and you want to be in a mini movie here on YouTube, yeah, wave us down. Because you could be in it. Yeah, I'm. I'm looking through. I don't. I don't know who's uh, going to. Uh, who's in the chat? That's going to Mayberry. But well, take I Scott hope, uh, Just tell him to type Mayberry in the chat. Yeah. How about that? If you go to Mayberry, type Mayberry in the chat. Um, <clears throat> I they think banned gonna... Camper Life. He can't go back. No, no. He's already been one time. I think there's a one time limit on uh, Mayberry. <laughs> Oh man! Now, now, B Bear says there's an Arizona meetup in January. You know, I'm not. You know, I, I've I've wanted to get out to Quartzsite, but I'm not going to be able to make it this year. I'm already committed, and uh, but I do think I want to get out there at least one time. Uh, B Bear, you going to uh, Arizona? There's always a meetup in January. There's always a meetup in January in, in Quartzsite. Yeah, we'll be there. Yeah. Well. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I keep getting stuck in these jobs, but I really love them. <laughs> hey, did Dan, did Daniel Boone give you any wilderness advice when you saw him last time? Well, he said, don't put on a coon skin hat if the coon ain't dead. Oh, <laughs> that's good advice. <laughs> that's not bad. Boy, you improv good, Steve. I want to tell you. No, what we didn't plan that. I definitely was trying to put him on the spot. <laughs> I'm studying. I'm getting my stories. This is really, this is really awesome. Let me tell you, Donovan, and everybody else in the chat. This is really awesome place because in these cabins, you can do that improv and you can have a story and tell it, like Daniel Boone's story. But uh, they put storytellers in the cabins, and as the children come by, they talk about Pioneer Days, and uh, each each storyteller has their own thing, and you know they talk about how they went out and got the water or how they went out and they got firewood and how they cooked. Today, the children all stood around and washed clothes on a washboard. Wow. And I thought that was pretty cool. And then they go out and hang them up. So they see how great they have it right now. You know, <laughs> throw it in the washing machine, throw it in the dryer and put them on. Wait, you still wash your own clothes? You don't just drop them off and then go pick them up all folded nice? No, I'm back to the pioneer days. I'm I'm doing them on a washboard. Victoria, you Madden, play the washboard too? Do you have a band? Yeah. Do you have a jug band? Yeah. There you go. That song too. Uh oh, <laughs> I'm messing up my time. Victoria May Life Unfiltered. How you doing? It's good to see you. Thanks for coming by. If you don't have a uh, 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 one of them dryer sheets, go on and get you one. Put it in your pocket. Keeps the skeeters away. Rodents away. And uh, it's a kind way to get them to shush away. <laughs> That's an official word, shush away. <laughs> All right, I'm going to get you out of here. I'm going to say hello and goodbye to everybody. Donovan, it's always awesome. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate you, brother. I love it, man. See ya. All right, love you, bye. <laughs> That's Donovan. He's crazy, but uh, I love to have him on the show. It's always fun. He's always got something comical to talk about. And again, he, you can't catch him on his live stream anymore, but you can catch him on the bid lift. And we cut up a little bit, try to keep it a little bit serious. Let me play this video and then I'll get back here. Don't leave yet. Hold on.
Uh, it's been an exciting show. I've had a good time. I always have a good time. It's fun to see the chat, everybody in the chat and the things that they talk about and the things that they chat about. I appreciate everybody giving me a hard time, Camper Life and uh, RV on the Wayside. I, I love you guys. Be Bear, I'm going to send you an email. Uh, Paul, I'm going to have to give you a call, check out, see what's up. I've been trying to send Paul pigeons. But every time I take these pigeons, we got like 35 or 40 pigeons. And I throw them up in the air and they fly off a little bit and they come right back. And I don't understand the whole homing pigeon thing. So I'm going to have to do a little Googling and figure out what homing pigeons do. I'm trying to send them up to Virginia to Paul, but they keep coming back. Fordman, a.k.a. Kenneth Oaks, it's good to have you by, uh, come drop by. I appreciate you, brother. Uh, I do. I do. And I hope you have a good time at Mayberry. I think uh, I'm going to look forward to all you guys' videos up there in Mayberry. Uh, I hope you guys play nice and have fun. <laughs> and be careful because Sheriff will arrest you. <laughs> a traveling salesman knocked on the door of a farmhouse. And since it was getting late, he asked the farmer if he could sleep in the barn that night. The farmer said, that'd be fine. But you have to promise me to leave my son alone. The salesman said, oh, no, I'm in the wrong joke. <laughs> All right. Sorry. All right. A man was driving down a quiet country lane when out into the road strayed a rooster. <laughs> Whack! The rooster disappeared under the car in a cloud of feathers. Shaken, the man pulled over to the farmhouse and rang the doorbell. The farmer appeared. The man somehow nervously said, I think I killed your rooster. <laughs> Please allow me to replace him. The man driving along the rural road one day said he saw, oh, hold on. He said, <laughs> sorry about that. <clears throat> he said, suit yourself, the farmer replied. The hens are around back. <laughs> I messed that up. I had a joke on top of a joke. How'd that happen? My goodness. Anyway. <laughs> oh, so uh, I guess that's it. I got about two minutes. I really do appreciate everybody stopping by. Camper Life, even you. Uh, I hope everybody's doing well. I hope you're going to have a great weekend. It's fabulous down here. I think I've got the weekend off, so I don't have nothing to do. Now, Jill, she's got a couple events to take care of, and she's going to be a little bit busy, and I don't know. I think I'm going to have a good weekend. Uh, let's see. Are we over the boomerang pigeons? Yes, they are. Boomerang pigeons. <laughs> like I said, I appreciate everybody. Thanks for coming by. I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Uh, if you enjoyed this story, click like. And smash that subscribe button if you uh, want to see more videos just like this one. And until later, thanks for your time. Bye. <laughs> I mean it. Bye. Go have a good weekend. Be safe and stay out of trouble. <laughs>